Panamaniacs was the critically acclaimed show that was broadcast in the United States from 1993 through 1998. And during that time, the screenwriting for the show was aimed at both children and adults as a viewing demographic base. But some of the creative forces behind the show wanted to see just how much could actually be allowed before television censors deemed it inappropriate for young audiences in the cartoon. It's very important to remember that Animaniacs had humor and innuendo written into much of its episodes, which were very mature for the time, and since that time when the series was originally aired. But creative forces behind the show, such as Paul Dini and Tom Ruger, among others, wanted to create a modern version of Red by Tex Avery from the 1940s. Designed to be sexual like Hello Nurse, but even more provocative than her. Originally, she was depicted to be fully nude, much like Slappy Squirrel was in the cartoon, but due to the design of the character and the sexual nature she originally had, later she was depicted with clothing. Originally called Marilyn Mink, after the iconic American sex symbol, the references to her sexuality were perhaps a bit too much for the viewers to make connections to easily, and her name was changed to being that of Minerva Mink. The fully sexualized depiction of Minerva, for example, almost made it to public airing of the episodes Got Milk, Buttermilk, before senses decided that it was a bit too much with the changes to tone down the character's sexuality and the name were changed. Most of these changes were only made at the last moment. However, due to the uncertainty of the character and her overtones for a good number of her depictions, her appearance did vary in terms of anatomy in the episodes. In terms of personality, Originally, whenever Minerva saw a physically attractive male, she'd go into lustful spasms of sexual desire, much like a female animal in hate. The raw, sexual, primal animal urges were later toned down and eventually removed completely during later showings of her in Animaniacs episodes. With relation to other female characters in the cartoon, she clearly used her beauty and sex appeal to get what she wanted, with in many examples of her showing no interest in the men that she attempted to ensnare at all. In the episode production order, the episode Meet Minerva actually had her showing attention to a male character that did not have any sexual or physical or even relationship desire for her, so she isn't immune to her own intentions, as depicted in the episode. Due to the phenomenal intentions of sexuality from the character, Minerva appeared in the least number of shorts throughout the Animaniacs cartoon episodes of the entire series. It's allegedly because most episodes with her features her overly sexualized tones and references. And as a result of those references, it was later decided that it was, after all, a children's show and that it technically was inappropriate for these sorts of messages for children to see and hear. The prime example of Minerva being depicted curvaceously behind a curtain showing a nude silhouette while bathing in a lake. It's an iconic scene in the Animaniacs cartoon series, but showed just how much writers and creative forces behind the series of Animaniacs wanted to see what they could get away with from the census. In the episode, Moon Over Minerva was almost released uncut, but was later censored before the original broadcasting in America. In the episode, her cleavage were clearly visible to the viewers. Later on, after the censors, that view of her breasts and cleavage were mostly airbrushed out. However, since the censorship attempt was such a poor cover-up and quickly done job, fans could actually notice it if looking at the episode close enough in detail. Upon looking back on the concept of Minerva Mink, many viewers of the Animaniacs cartoon and even the creative forces involved mentioned that such a blunt portrayal of sex wasn't exactly acceptable in today's American media, at least for a children's cartoon. But others 
did like the original idea of a sexualized female character, for it was interesting to see how far things could exactly be taken before censors would have to pull back as to what or were being depicted in terms of artistic media. And in many examples, even with what was allowed, it was certainly eyebrow raising for those who did see it. Sometimes a character doesn't have to be necessarily forgotten, just changed from their original intentions or depictions.